This is the Schmo with the Pro with the number two straw weight in the world, the former champion, the gross, Nama Nunez in the flesh, here on Fight Island. How we doing? Uh, we're doing pretty good. It's it, bedtime, but we're doing good. <laughs> yes, you're staying to the American time zone. Sort of. It's, it's the gross time zone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Now, the last time you fought an opponent back-to-back, -back, it was against Joanna. The one time that you had the opportunity in, in your career to avenge the loss, it was against Tisha Torres. Why will this result be similar for you against Jessica Andrade? Um, because of my preparation and because this is what I want. And uh, anytime that I want something, I go get it. Now, you're a pianist. Mm -hmm. How does that help you? mentally and maybe physically in your fighting career mentally it's uh you know you gotta have timing you gotta have rhythm you gotta be creative uh physically there's just so many like synapses that your brain creates between your fingers moving and you know your brain thinking of where it's gotta go so there's just so many benefits that um it's it's also you know sometimes your body's so physically tired from training that your mind still keeps going and that's also good to to exercise your brain so you can fall asleep. The Shmo knows you like ninjas. You're nimble, you're quick on your feet. We saw you doing some shadow boxing with Pat over in the airport. How come you're so light on your feet? What do you attribute that to? Well, you know, pretty much uh, Trevor Whitman, all he does is footwork, really. <laughs> um, not all he does, I shouldn't say that, but that's like the majority of what we do. And uh, I got great genetics. And uh, I'm just that good. You sport the shaved hair. Your opponent, Jessica Andrade, sports the shaved hair. Why not more females do that? Because I'm sure it really helps with your preparation, not having to worry about doing all that stuff with the braids and longer hair. Yeah, I think um, not as many people, not everybody can pull it off. And at the same time, I think being like playing into that whole, um, just, you know, selling your femininity is good to you know, for marketing and stuff like that. So I think um, a lot of girls see an advantage in um, in doing that. So I think it makes sense, but it takes a lot of courage to, to cut it off because it took me a long time to do it. It's someone's birthday today. Happy birthday to Pat. Come on in here, Pat. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Turning 31, we'll assume. Yeah, 31. That sounds good. That sounds good. <laughs> Final message for the Thug Rose fans out there worldwide. Uh, just get ready. You know, uh, it's going to be fireworks. It's going to be my best performance yet. She's the pro. He's the pro as well. I'm the schmo. We're out. <laughs>